Exercise 2. Implied Meanings. Part A. Question number one. I'd like to make a reservation for next Friday. We'd like to sit by a window if possible. You'll need to call next Monday then. What does the woman imply? Question number two. I thought Molly would have called by now. If Molly could call you, I am sure she would. What does the man mean? Question number three. What are you planning to do tomorrow? Harold asked all his friends to pitch in with the packing before he rents the truck on Thursday. What does the woman mean? Question number four. Can I take the composition course now? Because our budget for this semester has been cut, it won't be offered until the spring term. What does the man imply? Question number five. How did Karen like her new clothes? She decided to return the skirt because it didn't match the blouse her mother gave her for her birthday. What does the woman mean? Question number six. I wish Nancy could come with me to the welcome reception at the athletic club next Saturday. She is invited, isn't she? What does a man ask? Question number seven. I can't say that I am happy to be back. It's hard to believe that only a week ago we were swimming in the ocean and taking walks in the woods. What does a woman imply? Question number eight. I am going to try a new recipe for dinner tonight. Cooking a meal every day has never been something I could either enjoy or become good at. What does a man mean? Question number nine. Dr. Collins doesn't seem to be in his office. He doesn't hold regular office hours in the summer. What does the woman imply? Question number 10. Look at this mess! I'll have to spend the rest of the day on it. While you are cleaning the kitchen, I'll straighten up the living room and the play area in the basement. It won't take long if we both do the work. What does the man mean? Question number 11. Had Fred told me he needed a hand, I would have fixed his faucet for him. Well, you know how Fred is. What does a woman mean? Question number 12. It looks like a new coat of paint will be necessary.
I can't guarantee that we can match the color on the hood and the passenger door. Where does this conversation take place? Question number 13. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Who has the time to eat breakfast? What does the man imply? Question number 14. If this drought continues, farmers will lose half their crops. They predict that the dry spell will end soon. What can be said about the weather outlook? Question number 15. If you lose a library book, you have to buy a replacement. Another option is to pay the fine, but paying the fine usually is more expensive than buying the book. In this case, I'll start looking for it in stores. What does the man mean? Question number 16. Nobody by this name works here. The address on this letter is incorrect. What do you think I should do with it? Try calling the post office. What is the woman suggesting? Question number 17. I think it's terrific that Larry is going to stay with us for a week. We'll see what you say next Tuesday. What does the man mean? Question number 18. I saw Steve with Carol at the air show a couple of days ago, but I thought he was dating Sally. That was last week. What can be said about Steve? Question number 19. The election report has to be typed up right away, but Becky is busy copying right now. Give the typing to Frank. He's been discussing his baseball game with Brian for the past 20 minutes. What is Frank's occupation? Question number 20. My nephew bought an expensive new calculator, and he can't figure out how to operate it. An instruction booklet came with it, didn't it? What is the woman suggesting? Part B. Questions 21 through 28 refer to the following dialogue. I am sure you have some friends who are thin and others who are heavier. Everyone does. But it's really amazing to learn some of the reasons why people are the way they are. People's eating habits are formed by different pressures that they experience while growing up. Even in the same family, different children can form different habits as a result of their interactions with parents and brothers and sisters. Really? Do you mean that a person's adult weight can be determined by childhood habits? Yes. Parents really have a strong influence on the development of children's attitudes and create habits that will last a lifetime. If food is used as a reward, for example, the daily snacks or sweets can lead to a dependence on food as a source of comfort. If parents tell children to clean their plates, children may eat more than they actually need. 
Over time, a few extra calories a day will add up to extra pounds. Adults who were overweight in childhood may have difficulty losing weight. So, does the habit of overeating begin in childhood? It seems strange that adults are not able to change their behaviors. Well, it may not be so strange if you think about it. Every person has a self image, that is, a mental picture of how he or she looks to others. People who are overweight often see themselves as unattractive. Those who see dealing with other people as threatening may overeat on purpose to make themselves less attractive. Being fat gives them an excuse for not having close friendships. I can't believe that someone would become fat on purpose. Okay, let's take an example. Someone who is fat can say, I don't have many friends because I am fat, although this may not be necessarily the only reason. Eating too much is a common way to feel better when people are frustrated and anxious. Some people eat too much when they are tired, worried, or scared. Psychologists say that the reasons for obesity are frequently related to emotional problems or difficulties. Question number 21. When are eating habits formed? Question number 22. Who has a major influence on the development of eating habits? Question number 23. Why do children often eat more than they need? Question number 24. How do children's wrong eating habits affect their lives as adults? Question number 25. Why is self-image important? Question number 26. How do some people use the fact that they are fat? Question number 27. How do some people cope with frustration and anxiety? Question number 28. How do psychologists describe the connection between emotional problems and obesity?